I'm such a fan and was so anxious to read this book that I got a copy of it about a month before it came out ah. and uh, read it. And you have read about, you, you have lived about 55 lifetimes, I think. <laughs> Absolutely incredible stories here. One of my favorites, though, I witnessed personally, it's not in the book. I don't know if you remember this, Andy, but Allman Brothers Band played our late night show in 1995. Oh, yeah. You guys came on. And just before you came on, the guest was Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols. And uh, there he is. <laughs> and he came on and he was saying things just to try and be outrageous. And he started trashing the Allman Brothers Band. Started talking about you guys and saying very negative things. And apparently backstage, you and Dickie Betts jumped up and said, let's go get that English fella. And started running around <laughs> looking for him. He found out that you were looking for him. He, after the, in the commercial break, ran out of the studio and fled the building. <laughs> Would you guys have beat him up and, uh, if you had caught him? <laughs> Nothing like a good set of fisticuffs every now and then, you know. Keep no no one says it that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like a good set of fisticuffs <laughs> once in a while. Um, we're all so familiar with your music. I'm just curious, on a personal level, I listened to that music that you recorded uh, with, with your band, with your brother at the Fillmore. It's so iconic now. Can you listen to that music now and connect to that time? Absolutely. Or do you, you can. You don't yeah. just hear it as music now. You can, you can connect to, that's my, I'm playing with my brother. This is our band. This is us I playing mean, that gig. Get real quiet. Get on headphones. That's the only way to listen to music. Headphones. Mm -hmm. And you the can sound. listen to it and you can hear. And is it an emotional experience for you? Your brother's been gone for so long now, Dwayne. Is it an emotional experience for you well, to listen to your brother play? It's, yeah, it's all kind of different emotions because you get it real quiet and you put on these headphones and you uh, get comfortable and uh, lean back and just listen to it. And I mean, you know, the songs like come to a pinnacle and then they'll smooth out. And, you know, I mean, the songs are like real winners. Mm -hmm. The performance is very, very good. And so it, it and it starts off with Bill Graham saying, we're going to round it, off, round it off with the best of them all, the Allman Brothers. Yeah, and many people who are at that show, and you can hear it on the recording, say it's the best live music they've ever heard in their life. That's a little steep. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. Uh... <laughs> By the way, Stormy Monday, for years, that was the song I used to get the ladies in the mood. Oh, right. Really? Stormy Monday, Stormy off, Monday. The, off that album, off the Phil Maurice album, yeah. Did I ever yeah. send you a bill on that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you should, yeah. Uh, you all lived in this big house in Macon, and right. we're talking late 60s. You lived together, and you didn't have much money, and you were putting the band together. And this was a crazy, insane house where lots of crazy things happened. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically uh, a frat house, but to the 10th degree. Oh. Now... They have turned that house into a museum. Yes, and you've we... gone back. What's it like to go back to that house where all this madness happened and they've turned it into a museum? Oh, yes, they have. The uh, damn house was like 100 years old when we rented it, right? right. And uh, that was back in the 70s. I mean, early 70s. And uh, so to refurbish it, man, you just about have to... Jack would jack that one up and roll a new one under it, you know? <laughs> I mean, you gotta say, well, the foundation needs to be replaced. Well, they probably sure? also, I mean, if you read the book, it sounds like they had to boil it for a while. I mean, <laughs> just, so that's how it had to be steam clean before they could let people come into it. Oh, what's funny to you now, it's all in the book, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look. But it's pretty nice. <laughs>